We are not proprietors of this world. We are servants. We can act as stewards, as guardians, as caretakers, as gardeners. But is it our garden? It's his garden. It's Brinda Devi. It's not even it's Brinda Devi's garden. It's Radharani's garden. This is her, their place. So therefore, even this ashram, this is a place that we're here to serve. It's a place that we're here to adore, to love, to cherish, to hold, to protect, to nurture, not to possess and acquire and control. As soon as we try to control and acquire, it slips through our fingers. Why? Because the love dissipates. Right? Oh, it's mine. I want to control. I want to enjoy. The harder you try to hold on, the faster it slips away. Therefore, what is there to attain? What is there to become? Simply love. Simply be, right? Like the bees in the garden collecting nectar and bringing it back to their queen and making honey. What is their aspiration in life? They're happy, right? That's why they're always singing. <laughs> so there's nothing to become. Simply be, simply develop your love. And Radharani says this is a natural process. When that calling starts from within, when you realize I've lived long enough in this world without that relationship with God. I've lived long enough without that real relationship. Now let me develop that. Oh Lord, please reveal yourself to me. Then, Guru Krishna Prasade Bhai, by the mercy of the spiritual master and Krishna, that seed of devotion begins to germinate, to sprout, to develop. What is that seed of devotion? The desire, the tendency, the impetus to, I love you, let me serve you. That's why our mission is to serve love. As soon as you realize, oh, you love someone, what do you want to do? I want to serve you. Because it's the natural expression of love. Like the bee is collecting nectar, and bringing it back to the hive and making honey. The bee doesn't collect it for himself, he collects it for everyone. So therefore we say, Vasudaiva Kutumbakam. Develop a spirit of world family. This is our peace, solu solution to peace. If we can truly develop love for God, understanding of ourself, our true nature, then we can see all beings as part and parcel of the absolute truth, His eternal beloveds and servants, and then we can honor all, even an ant. There's a story of a, a disciple of Narad Muni before he was a hunter and he was hurting and this and that, but after he became a disciple, later on Narad Muni came and met him and he was walking and there were ants on the pathway. And he was very gently, very carefully, oh ant, Please move aside. I need to walk here. Why? God is residing within the heart of the ant also. The soul and the super soul residing together. Why should I harm them? So jive saman dibe, honor all living entities.